So I picked up the Sony HT RT5 uh, home theater uh, unit. It's a, supposedly a 5.1 channel. Um, let's look at some of the, the specs over here. Surround sound with rear speaker. So the the um, appealing things were that the rear speakers were wireless. So I wanted to give that a go. See how that was working. Um, there was a little bit of flakiness uh, to begin with. Hello. Um, but uh, it seems to have worked itself out. Now I didn't use the speakers too too long because I found that they just weren't up to uh, par for what I was looking for. But um, uh, let's see what else they've got. Song Pal Link. Eh, I don't care. Uh, so I was interested in the wireless uh, speakers. The um, I believe the uh, uh, bass is wireless as well here. Um, you know, stream your music, they all kind of have that nowadays. Bluetooth, it's kind of standard. Um, it had up to three HDMI slots, which I thought might be problematic um, for me. And um, and it had 4K. Um, let's see, is that pass-through? Uh, basically, it supports 4K. So, end of the day, it just wasn't enough. Um, it's okay. So I've got a bunch of different uh, of uh, speakers here because I'm putting back my old system. I, I actually took it all apart and had it, but this uh, bar is uh, part of the unit. Have it attached to my uh, Vizio uh, screen, which you know it was it was a little bit of a pain. I had to actually in order to get sound out of it, I had to go buy a um, a cable. And I think it's because this doesn't support ARC. Um, I think this TV, I'm still kind of new to that concept, but uh, I don't think this TV supports ARC, so I have to have a, um, a uh, I forget what these are called, optical cable uh, in order to get sound. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. Am I going to have to get an optical cable if I have other items that don't uh, support ARC? Um, so... For those of you that don't know, and I didn't really particularly know, but it's been out for a while, so perhaps I should have known. Whoop, there we go, I broke it. So what the back looks like. So it looks like you can connect to your LAN. That's fine, I didn't need to. Um, out ARC. So uh, supposedly you need an ARC uh, compatible TV, which I have one, but I don't think this one is. So um, let's see what else we got. So there's the... Uh, digital line in and a few other ports there. I also didn't like that in order to really get to the ports I had to keep flipping it and eventually this is gonna start to wear out if I'm not careful. So it's kind of like an old kind of look in my opinion. Um, so that's that and my kids fork. Um, this is the wireless speaker in the back works fine, synced up fine, that was no problem. This is the wireless speaker over on the side here again, no real issues. It's got one cord that plugs into the wall for power. And then this guy is the base. Um, that sounded good. So here are my issues. Here's the uh, remote. It's, you know, pretty standard, simple remote. Um, the yellow, blue, red, green, I never really read up on these. Uh, I never really use them. I just want the remote to do the simple stuff personally. Um, but so here's the max sound. It's called a hot bench. Ernst Stallman is suing his former friend Mary Mercurio for two unpaid loans. Mary claims she worked off her debt. Okay, thank you everyone. Please be seated. All right. So, Your Honor, this is case number 98. Going back down. So, it didn't blow my socks off. Uh, my current uh, system is a receiver with the same speakers. Uh, I can't even turn it up loud enough. I mean, I can't even turn it up uh, too loud past the positives because it starts to blow you away. So, um, I don't know where the top end of that one is. <laughs> this one, I found it right away. If it was a loud room, uh, it'd be probably too hard to hear stuff. 
Uh, it gets loud, but not loud enough for uh, like a party or something, um, in my opinion. So, um, and then the other uh, down for me was, flip this back up. So I can have an out to the TV, I can have an HDMI in, um, could be my Blu-ray. Um, what else do I have? Uh, my PC, my projector. And so I started running out of HDMI's really quick, whereas this one has two, four, six, six and two outputs. This one has three and one output. So in this one, obviously, uh, I can connect analog speakers, and I can also connect a lot of um, older tech to this one as well. So. So I was looking, I was thinking about replacing this if, if this was going to be adequate enough and just wasn't adequate enough for my needs. Um, if you have a really simple setup, just like a TV and a Blu-ray player, uh, you still have one more plug-in. Um, so uh, that might work for you. Uh, this is a $600 unit. This receiver was $450 in its heyday, so I mean this didn't come with speakers. So. Um, but uh, the speakers I just picked up at like Goodwill for 50 bucks or, or less. Um, and this, these uh, speakers, they seem to be working pretty well. I synced them one time. I haven't had any issues. They're not very far away, as you can tell. Um, oh my God, what's up with that judge? Um, okay. So, yeah, I mean, overall, it would have been nice. Uh, what I really loved about it was uh, the Wi-Fi speakers, so I'm going to keep my eye out for um, another set of uh, speakers. I like the idea of the sound bar, kind of bringing these three speakers together. They're close enough in proximity for my setup that it probably doesn't really matter, um, except it, it would look a little slicker with just one bar as opposed to the three speakers. Um, so yeah, I'm putting back my old system. Um, so that is the Sony HCR-RT5. Didn't quite do it for me. I was I was hoping. I was hoping if it was loud enough, if it had enough um, uh, of a amplified sound that um, I could have the 5.1 speaker system. Uh, this one also does up to seven channels, and I have enough speakers. I just need to get some better placement for my speakers. I have only two stands currently. So, um, and even if I get more stands, it's going to be hard to get the side speakers because I've got kid. I've got a kid. Um, seems like many, but it's just one. Um, and uh, to have, you know, side speakers out here, it's just not a lot of room. So the 7.1 system is probably a pipe dream in my my world right now. But uh, the 5.1 would have been okay if it was loud enough because we watch a lot of movies and we entertain. Um, and this unit for 600 bucks just wasn't really cutting it. Um, plus the expansion, the lack thereof. And um, Sony's been kind of disappointing me on their remotes. I have another. I had another receiver that had just a completely overcomplicated remote. Um, it had a shift button and nothing ever seemed to work and I don't want to pull out the manual to just change the channels and use the remote and at some point I just, what do they have three judges? What's going on here? This is a show I've never really watched. I've I watched Judge Judy back in the day so um, I don't know what's going on with this one but it looks like the same format. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is it. Not really too much to it. Uh, if you have a really simple setup, this is a pretty small place. If you have a really simple setup, um, I can see it working for some people. But again, for me, uh, especially compared to the unit that I have, it just really kind of pales in comparison. Now, I still have these wires. That kind of sucks. You have to uh, pull the wires through the carpet and you can feel them. You can see them right here. Um, and that goes to my projector. So one of those is an HDMI, so it's a little bit of a, a thicker wire. 
Um, the rest are two speaker wires, not four speaker wires. But um, the sound and also being able to project is pretty awesome. So um, it's worth the wires if I, if, I, uh, if I have to have them for the sound. And I also have to say, I, I kind of don't want to settle for less than 7.1. I mean, why? Why would I want to do that? I mean, sure, only 15% of the movies out there available have like 7.1 sound, but that's 15% of the movies that have 7.1 sound. So if you can do it, then go for it. Anyways, so I'm putting back my old system, putting it back together. I got the speakers all out here. I just got to take off these uh, wireless ones, but wanted to shoot this uh, kind of walkthrough of the Sony HT-RT5 and say, too bad, so sad, not really going to cut uh, cut it for me. Maybe it will for you, but those are my concerns. Oh, there's one more thing. So here we go. Maybe two more things. So, uh, you know, these cheap units, um, you, the only really way you can kind of get through these things is to flip through them. So if I want, I've got all these options, HDM1, HDM2, you can see that, yeah. Bluetooth, TV. Bluetooth, TV, why is it just doing Bluetooth and TV? Analog, USB. SCRM screen mirror, okay. So that's what we're like with your phone. HNet. There's also a USB option. Home. M server. Um, there's a USB option in there somewhere. Uh, so I don't like that I have to flip around there. There is a menu item that I can get to, but confusing you have to kind of have it connected in the way that it basically wants to be and then I think this one needs to be on a different input or something stupid I don't know um, let's get a little bit closer on this remote will it focus let's go with autofocus no yes so um, there are some fast uh, uh, buttons here I can go to this home button somehow, and it would change the screen, but it's not working right now. This was hit or miss. Every once in a while it would work or, or not. not sure what this SW is. I could have looked it up, but I just didn't have the unit that long. So, And I don't know. I guess this is uh, for my VCR or something. Not really sure. Uh, again, didn't really spend too much time with the remote, so... Sorry about the uh, lack of knowledge there. So, but here's the thing. Okay, turn it off. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand and gone. Okay, so my receiver has to boot up. This one, I turn it on. And it does have to, like, a few seconds before it clicks in, and it's ready to go. This one, please wait. BT. Oh, okay. So I guess if it's been sitting for a while on, then turning it back on uh, must have turned it on faster. So usually it's a long wait for uh, this thing to boot up. So... That's another negative. I just don't want to be sitting and waiting for my sound to turn on for, you know, 15, 30 seconds. Um, and that's what this one usually does. So that was also kind of a turn off. Um, remote works well otherwise, but really I was just turning up and down the volume. <laughs> um, this is what you use to get around the setup screen um, once you figure out how to get into it. That was the other thing, actually, now that I'm thinking about it is um, the setup wasn't as intuitive as I expected it to be. Now, it may be because I don't have ARC. Um, that might have been the whole problem, but I had the, you know, I set it up with an HDMI cable. HDMI carries audio and video. 
audio wasn't coming through. So I'm like playing with stuff, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, and I actually had to go out and buy this cable, which I'm now not going to need, um, uh, in order to get any sound out of it. So my question is, is if I were to connect to another device, am I going to have that problem? Also, this HDMI goes out from my uh, TV and in to the uh, device here. So I'm a little unclear as to what I should be going out uh, to. So I don't know. Uh, maybe that's just a knowledge deficit on my part, but I would expect, I guess, in for the speaker going from the TV to here. So I don't know, I'd have to look at the instructions a little bit more and see what was going on, but I was expecting the TV to be the out point for all the ins, right? So I was expecting this to be the out because I wanted all the sound to be kind of filtered through the TV. Now I, I realize I could be totally off on this. Um, and maybe this being connected there, let me turn it up. Okay, that's turned up already. So what, I have to be on TV in order to hear it. Do, 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 do. Sorry for the extra long. Okay. Obviously rubbed okay, off on Tanya. Did I hear the word Hazarai? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me turn that Tanya down. Tanya is too. turning Jewish on us. Okay, now they got more judges. I don't know what's going on there. So, um... So this is what I was expecting. It wasn't really working for me. It's using the TV as the main uh, focus, and then I guess the sound is through the optical cable. Um, but when I was trying it, I just wasn't really getting anything. So I was almost ready to turn uh, turn around and take it back without any sound whatsoever. Um, but then I bought the auto cable and uh, got it to resolve. So um, it may be me. I don't want to say that you're going to have problems setting it up, but I definitely had problems, and um, I do have a little bit of knowledge in this area. So, um, yeah, that's it. Bar, nice looking base. It seemed to do the job. That's wireless, 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 and this uh, bar has uh, three speakers in it, so it has a total of 5.1 sound uh, channels, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, ideally, um, but just didn't have the volume for me. All right, I'm going to stop uh, here. <laughs> I hope this was helpful for you. I didn't see too many reviews of this, um, like real reviews of this unit, and this is a Costco unit, um, so others might uh, be interested in it. All right, take care. Bye.